Thanks, Brandis. Chicago has a critical shortage when it comes to public bathrooms. That's according to a recent investigation by the Chicago Tribune that found city government has failed to provide the public with easy, consistent access to free toilets with scant information available about those that do exist. As the story found, it's not only a public health issue, but a public safety one as well. And joining us to talk about the story is its author, Emily Horner, a reporter with Chicago Tribune's investigative team. Emily, thanks for being here. Uh, first of all, how many available restrooms publicly are there in the city and where do they tend to be located? So I filed a bunch of uh, Information Act requests to compile um, all of the barrier-free restrooms. So public restrooms that don't require you to go through security or pay, um, you know, for entrance, be a customer, anything like that. And we found that there were fewer than 500 of these, you know, barrier-free, easy access public restrooms um, in the city. And they, you know, they're located all throughout the city, we did find that there were, you know, swaths of the city that had few or none of these um, facilities. So it just varies from, you know, neighborhood to neighborhood. Really. And Emily, how does this lack of barrier free restrooms impact Chicago residents, as we mentioned at the top, not just on a public health level, but public safety? You know, I talked with a lot of people who are unhoused um, in the city who, you know, struggle daily, regularly to find a place to use the restroom facility, um, which is something that a lot of people, you know, need to do every day, sometimes multiple times a day. Um, and it can be really difficult for folks, um, you know, they face, you um, stigma it is dehumanizing to have to go to the bathroom outdoors and alleys um, to be seen doing this um, so you know it, it puts people in a, a difficult situation if they don't have a place to go um, and it can lead to you know public health concerns as well pathogen spread and human waste and um, it can be dangerous. And it can also be uh, bad for somebody's criminal record because as you found, uh, the Chicago police do issue uh, citations and arrest folks for public urination or defecation. Tell us what you found uh, with those statistics. Yeah, so since 2016, there have been about 29,000 tickets issued for public urination and defecation throughout the city. Um, many of them have been issued on the south and west sides. There is a smaller amount of people who have been arrested, um, including, you know, there were about 50 people since 2014 who have been arrested on multiple occasions for public urination and defecation. And there's been some cities like D.C. and San Francisco that have tried pilots with public restrooms. Uh, as the city of Chicago indicated that they have uh, any policy thoughts in mind to address this issue. The city has told me that they currently have no efforts underway to improve access to public restrooms at this time. And what are some of these other cities doing? And are they working? Yes, so DC is a very interesting place. They're trying two different programs. One is to place um, port uh, permanent toilets um, that are kind of indestructible, open 24 seven in a couple of key locations. They're also trying a business incentive program where you know businesses kind of opt in to become a public restroom and the government will incentivize them to do so. They can leave the program at any time. Um, so those are two interesting things in San Francisco. Employees um, are posted at public restrooms so they have you know, somebody monitoring the restrooms that do exist. And uh, people that I spoke with in San Francisco said that that has helped um, their public restroom issues. And, and you mentioned in the article that Starbucks has even uh, tried allowing that. And it's been kind of uh, hit or miss in terms of uh, how that impacts business. I want to throw up a map of where the public restrooms are, because you mentioned public parks. One thing uh, I didn't know, and there they are, the colors sort of represent a different public building that the restrooms exist. I learned in your article that uh, police stations, those are public restrooms that anyone can go in and use, correct? Yes, and they are some of the few restrooms that are open uh, 24 hours a day over the nighttime and, you know, all year long in the winter. And well. a lot of people don't use them. Yeah, I, I think a lot of people have are unaware that, you know, that's an option.
And you said that, that this is part of the problem, that the city isn't really um, advertising, you know, where you can go. Right. There's um, not a ton of information. There isn't, you know, one agency that kind of oversees all the public restrooms in the city or anything like that. So, you know, part of what we wanted to do with this reporting was, you know, build a, a tool for people to use as well to be able to locate some of these restrooms. Certainly an important issue that does affect uh, broad swaths uh, of the Chicago body politic. All right, Emily Horner, thanks so much for joining us. Yeah, thanks for having me.